I think couples have the wrong goal when they disagree. And I, I don't often use Robin and myself as an example, but today's our 42nd anniversary, so I guess I'm I'll right break a rule. <laughs> and, so I better be the hero here. Use our example. We have a rule when we disagree. We do what she wants. Uh, no. <laughs> That would work. <laughs> Trust me, that's good. <laughs> um, when, when you have a disagreement, your goal should not be to win the argument. And the common sense says you, you want to win. When you have an argument, you want to win, right? Right. But that's the wrong goal, and we figured that out. That's the one thing we really did figure out early on. And the goal should be that you want your partner to understand how you feel and then be willing to leave it with them. Because if you win, that means what? They, they lose. They lose. Do you want your wife to walk away feeling like a loser? I don't. Do, I mean, do you want, you're wanting him to go do things that you want him to do. Do you want him to feel like he has been a loser? In certain circumstances. <laughs> okay. That's issue number three. Okay. No. no. You understand what I'm saying. I do. You don't want to I erode do. his self-worth and self-esteem. Correct. Stand up for me. Okay. Get on the other side of this chair. I'm putting you to work. Pick it up. All right. Okay, now get back, in. <laughs> Didn't know you were going to be You're a right. stagehand, did wow. you? Wow. <laughs> okay, now, this is just going to take just a couple of minutes, okay? First, I want you to look at each other. Don't say anything, just look at each other. It's amazing how little we make eye contact with each other these days. Social media, text, Twitter. We just don't make eye contact much anymore. Now I'm only going to give you about 10 or 15 seconds each to do this, but I'm going to start with you. Ah, look at her. <laughs> and when I say go, I want you to tell her what I wish you would stop doing because it hurts me. Go. Simone, I wish you would stop bringing up old arguments and disagreements when we're out with friends. It's really embarrassing and it, it, it hurts me to see you angry and upset over and over again. I wish you would stop not noticing when I'm trying to do things for you because I love you. Okay, Simone what I wish you would stop doing because it hurts me. I wish you would stop dismissing my feelings when I share with you about things that are bothering me. I wish that you would stop paying so much attention to social media. And I okay. wish you would stop weren't focusing on being the man and just remember that we are a team.